and I'm talking to my old buddy Dugan Henhawk and Dugan is a mighty fine singer, saxophonist and has a keen ear for the word which is why we're talking so I'm kicking the story to him that I saw on Twitter from Katrina Van den Heuvel how the feminist punk collective has roiled Russian politics and challenged the church Free Pussy Riot slash the nation. So that's from Katrina, 2nd of May. So anyway, I saw that, Dugan, so, you know, I had to respond. Free Pussy Riot is an oxymoron. Either Free Pussy, all for, or Pussy Riot, all again. Make up your fucking mind, Katrina. Well, surprisingly, Dugan, I never heard anything on the subject from her. <laughs> you there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking, uh, well, you know, people uh, can't always uh, articulate, you know, like me. <laughs> well, she's the uh, editor for The Nation, I think, and one of the chief writers, but... You're dealing with a different language. They're dealing with the king and queen's motherfucking English, you know. And you know how much time I don't have for that. So, I respect the writers on the subject, but uh, I don't respect the whole plantation mentality of the people who sell around salons and say this is the proper way to speak. And if you do, you're a lady or you're a gentleman, and the rest of you are fucking ignorant peasants. Well, that's me, fucking ignorant peasant to them. So, here's this peasant going at it. Anyway, here we go. Katrina Nation, pussy riding in the Russian church. Dicks blamed, shocked, ang frightened, angry. Pussy jailed, must be freed. Dicks in favor, rise up. I, I know you're one of those dicks in favor of free and pussy, right? Free pussy is always good. No, I'm talking about free and pussy now. I, and, and free pussy is the best, okay? But pussy fucking right and Dugan is, I mean, that goes back the Greek mythology, the Maenads. Did you ever read that story or ever hear that? And Pentheus, right? And the, the, uh, the Maenads were uh, quite prominent in uh, recent, uh, what do you call it, editions of the uh, HBO television series uh, True Blood, which is about vampires and old time shit like that. Okay, hold on. I gotta have a smoke here. Keep going with what you were saying. Oh, it fucked me all up now. Anyway, yeah, so uh, uh, I know a little bit about the main ads or whatever they are. Uh, some, some little something about it. At least that I, they got nice breasts, I guess. Well, it's about women going fucking nuts. Such by HBO, it's... <laughs> you know? And if I can learn anything from HBO, it's that uh, the main ads had nice breasts. Right, right. I, I think that... Uh, <laughs> That's about what you would expect from HBO on the subject. There you go. You know, titillating. And that's it. So, okay, I got an incoming call, but that can wait, obviously. So anyway, it's the oldest story going, going back to the Garden of Eden about Dick and Pussy. But these seven women, what they did, they went into a church in Moscow, and uh, during a church service, I think Orthodox, and they got up, in some part of the, some stage there somewhere, some platform, and sang a song, and they knelt when they were calling on the Virgin Mary, basically to um, burn Putin a new asshole, you know? And because he's a fucking dictator, right? And you talk about sick fucking dicks there, I mean, you can see why pussy would write in Russia, because it ain't got a chance to be fucking free, not with the likes of dickhead motherfuckers like Putin. So we are, you know, with the old bit of humor, trying to help those seven women who are languishing in jail. There's seven years they got for this, man. Seven years. Can you imagine? Yeah, that, that, uh, that's a little bit excessive, I guess. Huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, coach, you know, when pussy rides, man, you better run for the fucking hills. That's the story. I've been around pussy riding. Yeah, ain't nothing. Uh, maybe them bitches should have listened. Uh... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they say when the guy had, when the chick had the one, two black eyes, I told her twice. Oh. <laughs> uh, Dugan, 
Dugan, you haven't lost your bloody adolescent fucking humor. Oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, you know, I don't know. I don't know about uh, going and disrupting the church service, you know. Really, that kind of bothers me. I mean, they could find other ways to, to get their message across, maybe. I don't know. Oh, my God, I don't believe that's coming from uh, you. No, seriously, now, if you, if, you, if you were there, if you, if you went to, to uh, do your, your worship, whatever, you know, in an earnest fashion, and there you are in your one day of uh, kneeling, <laughs> and uh, uh, suddenly some uh, lesbians come running in there and with their free pussy and so forth. Uh, geez, your, your whole Sunday is really kind of screwed up then. I mean, the... the uh, the borscht doesn't taste the same afterwards. Yeah? You don't think so? Hmm? What's that? You don't think so? Oh, man. See, you, you're, uh, you always see, you're so predictable. You come down on the same side every time. Here's Licken. Dugan, here's the poem Licken. About them poor people that are sitting there doing their... I never thought that I'd be hearing you so fucking concerned about people in church having their services interrupted in their comfort, their spiritual comfort, and somebody coming along challenging them and saying, uh-uh, you're talking the talk, but you ain't walking the walk. I'm all for that, you old fart. Now, here's a poem for you, you old fart. <laughs> licking. Finger licking good, that pussy. Lovely having one's face in it too. No doubt seems true for licking dick. Sacred. Between lovers. See, a whole different culture. So there's free dick and free pussy. And I think that's what everybody wants. I mean, when you're free, then you're free to make commitments. You're free to understand what the fuck you're doing. You're free to make up your own mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, inside all the humor, that's what the struggle is about. When Joyce was writing Ulysses, the whole idea was that the cornerstone of all social uh, ideas are your sexual ones. All the social relations are the sexual relations ones. So, you know, here are people trying to work out their relations and you, I mean, this is a feminist punk group. This is who you started out being, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? That was you down through the years. And now you're talking your shit, you old fart. <laughs> now what do you got to say for yourself? Um, I'm old, I guess. I just, uh, I don't really give a shit about no fucking feminists in Russia or anywhere else, you know? Oh, why the fuck don't you care about pussy when it's enslaved anywhere? I have no pussy. I don't even know what pussy is anymore. <laughs> oh, I now understand the fucking problem. Okay. <laughs> you are getting tired of old Dugan. There's no doubt about it. You can still smile at the memories, right? Oh, if I can remember any of them. Oh, man, you are in rough shape. Well, that's who you were when you were young, in your punk days, right? So good for those women. And, of course, the whole story of the Maenads was that they were in the Greek king and uh, Pentheus, and he was trying to be a dictator. And, you know, he upset Dionysius, who was the, you know, the feminine principle. And, of course, this is the old struggle between the male and the female principle. Instead of cooperating together like we could be in the garden, and it could be a heaven, and still we make a hell out of heaven, you know, and that's the story of poetry down through the years. So, I think that was Keats, wasn't it? The hell out of heaven. So, that's what we do with each other, you know, with all the old anger, jealousy, the lies, deceit, when we ain't being honest and loving and kind, you know, then get all the other bullshit. But as to uh, you... You can't always be those things. You can't always be honest and loving and kind. Sometimes you can't, even, you can't even come close to that. People don't even want that. They say they do. Shit, man. I know so many women, they say, oh, always tell me the truth. And every time you tell them the truth, you get kicked in the nuts. <laughs> Lenny Bruce had a really good one about that. He was talking to his old lady and they had, you know, he was uh, doing his fucking trip right back in those days and he was honest, he wasn't lying to her and he said, you got the same freedom and so she wasn't doing it anywhere like he was, but they were talking one night and just said, well, who are you doing it with, right? 
And so, okay, alright, I can, alright, cool. Him! That motherfucker! You fucking him, bitch! <laughs> well, you gotta have, you know, standards. Yeah, and no, always so. It was that kind of shit right there. So, but it, it really is, I mean, that's the struggle we're in. I mean, Dionysius, okay, so this king, Pentheus, right? The women, and it was his own, was it his, uh, wife or mother something like I think it was the wife and she was in such a frenzy because she was intoxicated by the power of Dionysius you know intoxicated with wine ecstatic out of control woman pussy writing that's what maynards are about pussy writing that's a real fucking pussy right let me tell you right there my friend and that guy Pentheus he ended up having his head torn off his fucking shoulders by, the, by uh, one of the main as by the wife, you know, his uh, wife. And uh, she thought it was a lion that she was taking the head off of. So that's how frenzied a woman can be, my friend. So it's a powerful story. So that's why I'm all in favor of free pussy. Because <laughs> it won't, you know, pussy writing, that's when everything goes to fucking hell. Let me, I got one more poem for you, Dugan. Can you bear with me for one more poem? I can stand it, I guess. All right, my friend. You're doing great so far. All right. This one, you've heard this one before. You like this one. Bitches, witches, bastards, wizards. So, you think you ain't no bitch, bitch. Which proves you ain't nothing but a dumbass fucking cunt, bitch. So you think you ain't no dickhead motherfucker? Goes to show you ain't nothing but a dumbass motherfucking prick bastard. When the animal is tamed, no need to be ashamed. For bitch becomes witch. Bastard, wizard. Magic of the word. Living in thee, be loved. So there you go, dude, when you haven't heard that one in a while. That's uh, been way too long. So how's it sounding to you today? Uh, sounds like uh, 1989. Back there again. There you go. Now we got to pass it on to the next generation, you know. Like a hundred Charlie. There you go. There you go. And Shakespeare in the alley. Sounds like cheap beer and coets and punk rockers and poets. And uh, cheap herb and the magic of the herb and the beer. They sure work their magic. All right, Duke and I'm going to... Um, Come to an end right here with this. Hang tight while I finish it off, okay? Yeah. All right, folks, you're listening here to Bird Bart. All right. For much more on this and the freedom of American language as opposed to the king and queen's motherfucking English, okay, the language of the oppressor and the plantation, which is why we have drug wars, as they're called, we're all cooperating in our own oppression. Okay, from all cultures, male, female, gay, straight, doesn't matter the color, doesn't matter the creed, the nationality, okay, everyone is cooperating with these dumb ass Jim Crow plantation fucking laws, drug laws. For a healthy America, take the crime out of drugs. Business wise, we need a transvaluation of values as well. Business needs to pay a living wage. Cause the man himself cries that the laborer is worthy of his hire. And that's where money and wealth comes from. The laborer interacting with the earth and all the resources can be tracked back to that. And the third thing we need to do is bring him home. Dismantle the military industrial complex. The empire, the declaration of independence was supposed to be for independence externally and internally. Not to be a motherfucking empire, assholes. Generals and church leaders and state leaders 
Like everybody, you're all leading the people down the wrong fucking track. Get your heads out of your asses, wipe the shit off your eyes, and take a good look around, you dumb fucks. That's what catharsis is called. Bart, Bart, out. Thanks, Dugan, old buddy. Let me just turn this off here, and then we'll be good to go to talk a bit.